on today's Designing Spaces. Between kids and pets, seems like there's always a household spill or stain to deal with. Find out how to keep your home mess-free and stress-free. The online world can be intimidating. See how older consumers are taking control of their finances online with confidence. Running a small business? These tech tools can help your brand in the digital age. Ryan's here with solutions and tips for around the house. Time to design. Hey, Allison here. As a busy mom of three and a veterinarian, I feel like mess should be my middle name. If you know me from my blog, you know that everything I love to do creates a huge mess. The problem is I'm a complete neat freak. I can't stand mess and clutter and I love organization and cleanliness. So I'm constantly trying to find the balance between running around with my cleaning supplies and keeping my house spotless. If three kids weren't enough, we also have a new puppy. Super exciting, but I feel like I'm a little outnumbered these days in the mess and puddle department, which leaves me scrubbing away at rugs and carpets. Plus, I still haven't found that right formula for getting rid of the actual stains and the odors. I'm also using way too many paper towels. I read that it takes two weeks to a month for one paper towel to decompose, accounting for 254 million tons of trash every year, not to mention how much I spend on buying them. I feel like as moms, we're constantly running around with paper towels attached to our hip. I really need to be more conservative and find a better way of picking up the mess. I found out that the makers of Dustbuster Black & Decker have a new cordless spill and spot cleaner called Spillbuster. Spillbuster is a cordless handheld spill and spot cleaner that tackles the wet and chunky messes that I use paper towels for, like spaghetti rings, eggs, milk, cereal, and mud. It's perfect for tackling pet and kid messes alike. Not only is it a powerful wet dry vac, it's also capable of spot cleaning carpets, rugs, and upholstery. I think I just found my new personal assistant. Black & Decker partnered with Resolve, the number one carpet cleaning brand. Resolve designed a portable machine formula that can be used with the Spillbuster for optimal results when they're used together. And the machine has a built-in formula dispenser. The spray nozzle dispenses the cleaning solution while a powered or manual scrub brush lifts away the stains. Using Resolve helps eliminate the stains and neutralizes the odor at the same time. Simply vacuum the wet and chunky mess, then spray, scrub, and vacuum away the stain. See noticeable results in three seconds or less. It's also easy to open and clean. Just rinse it out and pop it in the upper rack of the dishwasher and it's ready for another day on duty. Resolve's portable machine formula also neutralizes pet odors. This is really important for discouraging your pet from resoiling. It also has a light, clean scent. With the combined power of the scrub brush and Resolve's portable machine formula, stains don't stand a chance. There's a place for everything and everything's in its place. Off I go. If you would like more information about the solution presented today, visit blackanddecker.com or powerofresolve.com. See you soon. When it comes to banking, we now have options that extend beyond our local branch. AARP Foundation and Chase have developed free online guides and classes to walk through critical fintech tools, including how to make a remote check deposit, set up account alerts, and recognize scams. This is especially helpful for older adults who can now safely conduct everyday transactions from home or the palm of their hand. Qué bueno ya estar en casa de una vez. Ay, sí, ¿Quieres agüita? Ah, I see. Sí. Gracias, amor. 74-year-old Elsa Romano is a mother of seven and a grandmother of 17. Oh. Hola, mi amor. ¿Qué tal? She loves talking with her grandchildren on the phone. Échame un besito. Muchos besitos. Ándale. I love you. 
Elsa also checks her emails and once in a while plays a little solitaire on her tablet. But ask Elsa what else she does on the computer and her phone? Really not much, not much. My son got it to me and he showed me how to manage with it, but I think that it's overwhelming for me. That's why Chase is joining forces with AARP Foundation to bring the power of financial technology to older adults across the country. A lot of older adults, they grew up at a time where you didn't give your social security number to strangers and you didn't give your bank account information out to others. And so this world where we put everything in this phone that someone else can access and hack, it's understandable that that creates barriers of trust on top of the fact of just being uncomfortable knowing how to do something. So there's a trust hurdle and then there's a knowledge gap. And those two things coming together really make it hard for people to lean in to learn. So we built this website to overcome both of those barriers of trust and also help them know that they can do it in a way that they're safe and protected. A program aimed to help older adults build digital confidence for FinTech and social connections. So here's another step-by-step -step video, how to transfer money mm -hmm. using financial financial technology. Go for it. Okay. See? Again. For starters, AARP Foundation and Chase are providing free online resources to help older adults manage everyday tasks right from their phone, tablet, or computer. We have a whole slate of video tutorials that will walk you through step-by-step -step how do you set up an account with your bank online? How do you deposit a check? Ways to check your balance. And there's step-by-step -step videos that you can follow that you can watch over and over again. A program that helps people stay in touch with their resources and feel confident about their daily finances. And more importantly, keep them safe from online scammers. The number one thing to look out for is typos and grammatical errors. If that comes across in an email or even in a letter, don't believe it, it's not from a legitimate company. Number two is that if someone is creating a heightened sense of urgency, like you must respond today or within a set amount of hours, that also creates some concern. A good rule of thumb is think of your email and your phone like you think of your front door. If it's someone that you don't know and you don't recognize, don't respond. And the third is know that your private information, like your passwords, will never be requested from a legitimate company by phone or by email. So if someone's asking you for that information, that's also a flag that they're not legitimate. Take charge of your digital confidence and financial health safely and easily, right from home or the palm of your hand. Really, Chase and AARP have come together to help older adults grow their comfort with doing things online. I really feel happy about the program that Chase and AARP are giving to us because they make us feel safe at home and we can have control in all of our accounts. We can manage them and we feel good about it. By the way, these resources are free and are available in English and Spanish. To learn more, head to fintech.aarpfoundation.org or go to our website, designingspaces.tv. Have you ever thought of starting your own business or making some more money on the side? I know I have. And thanks to one social commerce platform, small businesses and entrepreneurs are being empowered to conquer and succeed. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Trova Page, Jing Ming Ling. Welcome, Jing Ming. Thank you, Olga. It's my, it's my pleasure. Oh, it's great to have you here. Uh, you know, I'm glad we're talking about this because I have a few friends of mine. You know, they have small businesses and they really depend on friends, word of mouth, yeah. uh, because having a, a store is a little difficult and they, they just never really get to be as big as they want to get. Do you hear that a lot? Yes, of course. So, I mean, when you start a business, I mean, the number one issue is that I may have a good product, I may have a good idea, but where do I find my customers? And you, you probably know friends here and there, and, uh, but that's really limited, and you don't really have a control of what your friends are saying. 
So in travel page, what we want to have you is to help you to be successful in transfer to digital. We are living in the internet age. Hmm. So with travel page, you can instantly have a storefront, you have all the tools available, and you can meet and chat with your potential customers and make yourself really successful and you don't have to depend on the physical stores. All right, I want to talk more about travel page, but I also want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Jenna. She's been making cupcakes at home for I don't know how long. She just loves it, but she works full time. Let's take a look at her story. Hey, girlfriend. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Look at you. I, I love know. your cupcakes. What's this one for? This one's for a little boy's birthday party, but he's obsessed with peanut butter. So I have, you know, some peanut butter accents with some gold on it. Oh, you <laughs> love doing this. I do. How's the business going? I mean, I know you do this just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's good. I mean, it could be better, but yeah. it's going pretty good. I just think the concept is so cute. I mean, the name is great, simple and sweet. I know, my son came up with that. Gosh, that's <laughs> right, he did. But I just, you know, I mean, I want you to make more money and kind of get big. Yeah, I would absolutely love that. There's got to be something online, by the way, I'm helping you now, to, to help you grow this business because, I mean, I think people would buy these by the dozens. Well, I wish that too. So if you find something, definitely let me know. All right. Well, besides that, how's everybody in the family? The kids Pretty are good? good. Yeah. Everyone's doing great. How are the school going? Good? Absolutely. Mm. Fabulous. He is on the honor roll already. So. Okay, so how can Trova Page help Jenna and others watching right now increase their business? For Jenna, she in Trova Page, she can have a instantly have a digital store in there and she can upload the pictures, she can share the videos, she can meet and talk to potential customers worldwide. And sure, she can deliver locally and she can even teach a lesson mm. to people around the world. And she can get a fee from, I mean, selling her recipes, teaching her classes, so all things that. Really, it is really not about just cupcake, it's just about anything. It can be a loan business, it can be a hair salon, or you can even sing a song. Anything you want to sell. Yeah, anything you want to sell, any idea you have. So we want to maximize people's creativity by supporting them, give them a digital platform. By the way, all these tools are built in for you to do your brands, make payments, and do the marketing, so all the tool has been built in. So. It's free for you. So all the tools that you provide are actually free for the person the who person wants to promote use. their business. Exactly. I love that. Now, let me ask you this. There's a lot of freelancing platforms out there. Let's be honest. Yes. They course. all promise to do this yes. and this and that. Yes. How is Trova Page different? The key difference is that we put you, the entrepreneur, in control. It is your business. You should be get rewarded for doing a good business. So. It is, you are not being treated as just a temp worker or, or just commodity or doing, doing things that people don't want to do. You are in control. Mm -hmm. And uh, in there, you can make your own friends, make connections, but most importantly, we understand this is small business. So we don't charge a fee until you make money. Oh, that's amazing. You don't charge, because I know some charge a monthly fee. fee you don't and, do that. Uh, yeah, we don't do that. Or an upfront uh, fee? Upfront fee, no. It's purely on you make money, we take a small cut of it, and we are here to make you successful. And I think that's the power of digital. Well, that's the power huge. Internet. So obviously, yeah. it's in your best interest to make you successful, me successful, exactly. and then you take a little piece exactly. of the pie. Yes. Well, that's and a win-win. Yeah. So I think that's the best way to go forward in the digital age. It's all about people inclusion, everybody wants to be successful. That's fantastic. I love this. Jingming, for our viewers who'd like more information, uh, where can they go? So they can go to trovapage.com. Great stuff. Thank you so yeah. much. All thank right, trovapage.com. Thank you so much thank for you. your time. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. I've lived in South Florida my whole life, so maintaining a comfortable temperature is really a top priority. And you know, I'm always looking for ways to save energy, and my utility bills can be a little high. So I like to try to adjust the temperature before I go to work, but let's be honest, I don't always remember. So I thought since Ryan's a close friend and my honeydew guy, I thought I'd invite him over and see what ideas he might have so that I could make a difference perhaps. Hey everybody, Ryan here. My friend Jeannie called and she wants to know how to save some money on her utility bill. The first and easiest step is swapping out the thermostat and I got some great options for her. Since up to half of a home's energy bill can be driven by heating and cooling costs, installing a smart thermostat can help reduce your HVAC energy. I chose the Sensi Smart thermostats for this job because their customers can save about 23% on HVAC energy. Plus, local utilities often offer rebates on Sensi thermostats. 
Sensi thermostats are Energy Star certified and compatible with most HVAC systems. The Sensi Touch is rated best overall smart thermostat by USA Today's Review.com. All right, Jeannie, the hard part's over. You pick the thermostat you like. You know, I really like the black aesthetically. I think it's gonna look really sleek. The nice thing also is the footprint matches your old one so we don't have to patch any holes or do any touch-up paint. What do you say, you ready to help me out? Ryan, I am, but you know I'm the emoji queen. I'm so not handy. Hey, you know what, that's okay. They make it super simple to install. All I need you to do is download the app and open the account. I just need a Phillips head screwdriver. I can do that. Okay, let's do it. First, you're gonna to wanna to turn off the HVAC system using the breakers in your electrical panel. Remove the old thermostat, leaving the base and wires visible. Use your phone and take a photo of the configuration of the wires. Record corresponding wire to the letters on the Sensi Mobile app. You have selected a valid configuration will display. Next, you're gonna remove the jumper wire. Mark your wires with the stickers provided. Install the new base and use the built-in level. Connect the wires matching each to each corresponding terminal. Put on the new cover and it snaps right into the base. Connect to Wi-Fi and you're ready to be in control. This would make a great DIY project for anyone looking to make an easy upgrade to their home and the app really simplifies things. For those who prefer professional install, Sensi has a network of thousands of professional contractors ready to help. My new Sensi and I are best friends. I love that if I have a last minute schedule change, I can adjust the settings from the app from anywhere I am. Now I don't have to remember to turn the air up every day. Then shortly before I get home at night, the house is at my perfect setting. I come home after a long day and chill. For more information on how replacing your thermostat can help save you HVAC energy, visit SensiComfort.com. Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. Now, as you can tell, summer is upon us. Now, during the spring, we've probably taken the time and cleaned the inside of our house, but now it's time to come out and enjoy the beautiful outdoors and our patios. But before we do that, we need to spruce it up and get some cleaning done. Now, as a contractor and a homeowner, my secret weapon is a pressure washer. They're super versatile. There's a lot of options out there. Whether you're looking to prep, to paint, clean your driveway, or just simply wash your car and spray off the cobwebs. There's an option out there for you. So today I'm gonna to cover all those for you to make sure you get the right machine for the job. Now today I have two really great options from Westinghouse. I have the EPX 2000 and 3000. And as you can see, they kind of look the same. Some cool features that they both have, they have these very easy rolling wheels. They're lockable, they're fairly small, so they're very easy to store in the garage. Now the big difference is, is the PSI. Here on the 2000, we have 1500 PSI. This is really good for general cleanup. Are you washing a car? spraying off the cobwebs in your foyer, anything of that nature, this is really, really good. The wand has basically an all-in-one nozzle, which is good for all those general projects. It also has this attachment where you can put a cleaner or soap in this, put it on it, and it will help disperse the soap, and then you can continue with your cleaning. This is a really good light-duty machine for everyday cleaning. Now, with the 3000, we're gonna step up. The big difference here is this wand, it has removed movable tips. You have a black one for soap, and then we have a 15 degree, 25 degree, and a pinpoint, which basically is the spray pattern. A pinpoint is just that, it's a very fine needle. You wanna be careful using that, that's for like rock work and very durable surfaces. The other ones are for cleaning driveways and things like that. It's gonna show you in the manual what each one is really, really good for. The other really cool thing about this machine here is it has a soap tank built right into it. Back here, you just open the spout out, pour your soap or cleaner, whatever you're gonna use, and it will automatically disperse through the machine. Now these are power tools, and of course, safety is very important. There's some precautions that you should take. 
wear some eyewear, perhaps some boots, don't ever use them barefoot. Don't ever, ever point the nozzle at someone or an animal while you're spraying. The right tip for the right job so that you don't injure people or products. And then don't go on the ladder with these. If, if something needs to be pressure washed that's on the ladder, that's when you call in the professionals. Just use this safely and you'll have great results every time. No matter the surfaces that you plan on cleaning to get rid of those grimy dirt, mold, stains, and whether it be your deck, your siding, the side of your house, you can even wash your car. For all the information today on power washers, be sure to go to westinghouseoutdoorpower.com and as always, designingspaces.tv. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.